question, was there, uh, whether this nation could exist half slave or half free? 50 years later, we stand here firm dealing with our own fears and concerns, such as the economic recession we've been through, the university enrollment hasn't increased, and the academic of, academic of no jobs, okay? I think it will depend in a great measure upon what we do here at NGIT on our kind of society that we build, the kind of strength that we maintain. We discussed today the university issues, but I would not want that to be any implication to be given that this does not involve directly our struggle with our community or our, at our own homes for survival. If we do well here, if we meet our obligations, if we're moving ahead, then I think education will be secure around the world. NGIT, it starts right here. If we fail, then we all fail. Therefore, I think the question before the NGIT student body, are we doing as much as we can do? Are we as strong as we should be? Are we as strong as that we must be if we're going to maintain what we need to maintain, and if we're going to maintain and hold out the hand of friendship to those who look to us for assistance, to those who look to us for survival. I should make it very clear that I do not think we're doing enough, that I am not satisfied as a student of NGIT or an American with the progress that we're making. This is a great university, but I think it could be a greater university, and this is a powerful university, and I think it'd be a more powerful university. My name is Christopher Riley. I'm running for student body president. And the buck stops here. Thank you. Next, we'll have John. I'm just going to leave the lights around an issue here. I hope everybody's uh, doing well this afternoon. It's a beautiful day to be outside for this debate. Glad well, we actually got the terrace instead of a classroom to be in. Okay. So, as you guys may know, my name is Jonathan Weiss. Uh, in the past two years, I have held two positions on Senate. I was the freshman class president, as well as this year's past treasurer. In that time, I have been able to see two executive boards and how they work and interact with the Senate and the university itself. In this time, I've seen the mistakes they've made. I've also seen the progress they've made. Okay. In that time, I've been able to construct ideals that will help Senate move this university forward in a positive manner. A big issue with Senate is that it cannot get things done if its inner workings aren't working properly. Okay? There are several things such as holding senators to higher regards in a higher regards to finishing their tasks that I plan on doing. Because if the senators aren't achieving their tasks, Senate itself cannot achieve its tasks that is set forth to assist the student population. I also plan on integrating more clubs and activities within the Senate so that we can step forward in our progress of having more students involved within campus. And this year is a large task, I understand. It's been tried to be tackled in the past and it's failed. So hopefully with my knowledge of the different leadership positions that people hold on this campus, we'll integrate these organizations better, such as Senate and Greek Life. As you may see, there are no Greeks involved on Senate. Greek Life is a major aspect to a university, even though students may not see that. So is athletics. There are sensitive topics to many people, but Topics that must be talked about nonetheless. <coughs> Top that off, I also plan on uh, diving into different activities that we have already started on Senate, such as taking teacher evaluations and making them public. This task is definitely on the workings. We already have a few departments going along with it. However, it should not end there. We should advance forward in this, and this can allow us to assist what needs to be changed or done within the faculty better. In the next few months, faculty, uh, we are looking to hire several new faculty members, and I would love to see students involved in this process so student opinions may be added to this. The main concern students have is GDS, and I agree, certain things can be changed. They have proven that they can do better food within the Spice Cafe or the Pizzeria, and I would like to see that, uh, the quality food, integrated into the continuous dining. There are many other uh, obstacles that I want sent to overcome over the next year, I would love the students' involvement within this. As president, it is the lead Senate in the right direction. I do not have all the answers. I do not have all the ideas. That is what the Senate and the student body is here for. And I would love to integrate them within the Senate to achieve these tasks. Thank you very much. 
I wish uh, everybody luck here on this debate, and I hope that everybody can see what makes the candidates better and not what makes them bad individuals. People make mistakes in the past, so learning is why we're all in college. Take that in consideration. Thank you very much, and have a good day. <laughs> hey guys, uh, my name is Chang, as many of you know. I'm um, running for the student Senate president. One of the biggest questions that people ask me is why are you running for Senate? You've never been part of Senate, why are you running for Senate? The thing I say about that is what makes Senate president the Senate president is the leadership and his ability to lead. Any great organization needs a great leadership, and I'm a firm believer in that people lead by example. I have extensive leadership on this campus. I've been holding, holding leadership positions since my freshman year on this campus. I've been part of, I've been part of the food committee since my freshman year. Uh, many of the sophomore juniors we've seen, many of the changes in the GDS, I've worked closely with GDS and Dean Jeff to work with. One of the main things being customer satisfaction. I think that Senate has been doing a great job of, but like, still needs improvement. Nothing is perfect. There's always room for improvement for everything. It's communication. The students need to be able to tell the student senate of what needs to go on in the university. The student senate is not a sole body when it makes decisions by itself. It is a body for the students, by the students. So communication is one of the biggest things that senate needs. I'm currently I'm the RHA president, the Residence, Residence Hall Association president. I'm actually working on developing a uh, smart plan so students can better communicate with res life staff and the RHA membership. I would like to extend that and create an NCI IT smartphone app so people will have better communication to people and everything. Not only do I have so, uh, problems that are present in the university, people tell me, I do think of practical solutions like the app. Also, one of the major things is for the NCI president, Senate president is to keep in communication with the people and to know who's, what's going on campus. I'm currently at the RA in Cypress Hall, so I am in touch with the residents. I hear these residents problems. I'm also a math tutor in CAPE, the Center for Academic Professional Enrichment. I hear the academic problems from the both commuters and residents. The main part of the Senate is to take care of the student life and to take care of the academic life. I'm connected to the students. I know what the students are problems. The students feel free to come and talk to me, and I feel like I can express those views in the Senate meetings and move NJOT forward. I would like to say vote for change for Senate President, but I'd like to add, make the right choice for NJIT. Thank you guys.